say no. I know I shouldn't escalate, but it's so exciting raising the stakes. There's a word for girls like me, disrespectful of domestic tranquility. It's too late.
<laughs> yes, you're here with Midnight Ukulele Disco. We have got Sweet Soubrette. Welcome Hi. to the show. Thanks for having me back, Jason. It's fantastic. Some of you may remember Sweet Soubrette was last here about a year ago with her brother, but she's back. Josh Soubrette. Josh Soubrette. Is he still in Japan? <laughs> he is, but he's coming home this summer. He's actually packing right now because he's going to travel around to Asia, Thailand, something decadent, and then come home. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. We look forward to that. But right now, we have Sweet Soubrette <laughs> here. And what news? What you saw at the top of the show? was Sweet Soubrette up at the Zipper Factory uh, with a fantastic performance uh, with uh, the Circestra Band who were uh, playing a fantastic circus show and who should be in it but our very own Sweet Soubrette. Well, I've been working with the Vindelstead Family Circus for a long time now and um, it's exciting to get to be a performer with them a little bit these days. Yeah, you, you uh, first appeared with them about two years ago, right? It was actually my ukulele debut at Galapagos Art Space in the Vindelstead Cabaret in 2006. Oh, wow. It's yeah. two years ago mm -hmm. and look what's happened since. So, um, we've seen you at the Cabaret and at other places around town. Uh, Songs of Doomed Romance is, uh, is, your, <laughs> is your specialty. <laughs> and really, I mean, what you, you literally started out two years ago with just a few songs mm -hmm. and a fantastic, uh, showed up in her pajamas all the time, didn't bother with makeup or anything. Yeah, really. I mean, <laughs> screw it. If they, if they don't want to see the real me, I'm not interested. <laughs> Sweet Sabret <laughs> is uh, really into a uh, nice presentation uh, with her style, and it's just continued. And now you have a, a, a catalog of, of at least a dozen songs that you're playing around, right? Yeah, I've got like a dozen and a half. I've got an album's worth and then some. So that was part of what uh, uh, the show at, at um, up at the Zipper Factory was. It was it was material from Sweet Sabret's uh, new album. This is uh, a copy of it here, which uh, I have hot off the press in my hands. And uh, let me show it over oh, on camera yeah. one. Here we go. <laughs> And inside, it's just immaculately produced because we have uh, this nice little booklet here. And uh, well, um, my producer Tim Cohan has a couple of talented brothers as well, and uh, his older brother Brendan, I commissioned him to do the painting for the cover. And then his other brother Sean plays a little mandolin on one of the tracks as well. So it's, it's kind of a family endeavor for them. Fantastic. But, yeah, it's just he did such a gorgeous job on it. Really nice production as well on the uke, mm -hmm. and your vocals just keep on getting better and better. Well, oh, thank you. It's better than worse than worse. <laughs> exactly. So, two years ago, picked up the ukulele, wrote a couple of songs, now a dozen and a half songs. Um, you have some new news, which uh, just late breaking this evening. I would love for you to share that with Well, you. this show with Sir Kester at the Benelsta Family Circus was a reprise. They played with me, they played behind me at my CD release uh, last month. And I kind of got hooked on the whole playing with the band thing. Um, Circestra, they have their own deal. They tour, they play around, and half of them are based in Boston. But the drummer lives here in New York, and he's kind of come on board. And, um, and in fact, on, on Sunday night after the show, he said to me, we have to find some regular people so we don't have to keep starting from scratch. And I was like, he said we. <laughs> Watch this space. It sounds like uh, Sweet Soubrette's breaking out into Sweet Soubrette and Band. Or I know. I, when I was trying to decide if um, if they if it should be Sweet Soubrette and the something. If anybody has any ideas, you know, email me. Um, Didn't touch me. But I do have like a thousand postcards that just say Sweet Soubrette. So maybe we'll leave it for the moment. I think that brand's pretty strong. But uh, uh, we have some more footage now. This is also from the Zipper Factory. Uh, what was the name of that uh, that event? It's uh, uh, the Bindlestiff Family Circus Winter Cabaret, and um, it was just Sundays in March, and this coming Sunday is the last one. So, do check it out. I can highly recommend that. And the Zipper Factory, such a it's, fantastic space. It's a gorgeous theater, yeah. <laughs> this is from the Zipper Factory. More with Sweet Soubrette, and when we're back, we'll have Sweet Soubrette live here in the studio. <laughs> You're with Midnight Ukulele Disco. The next entertainer is somebody who I've had the delight and pleasure of knowing since. I guess 2002, when Shishama gave us a very generous space grant and we opened the doors of the Palace of Variety on 42nd Street between 6th and Broadway. It was uh, the center of the variety community. It rocked. We all had such good times there. And uh, one day, a very charming young lady walked in and asked to volunteer. And we very happily said, yes, please. And it turns out that that was the best decision we ever made, because she has her SHIT together. 
and she's been a valued member of the Bindlestead volunteer staff and become a board member too, so she's grown with us, and now she is a veritable star in her own right. She made her debut with us two years ago on our stage at the Galapagos Cabaret, and we are thrilled to welcome tonight the sweet Soubrette. Across as we were lying in bed. Now every day that passes, I'm a tremble with dread. A gypsy tried to help, I didn't do what she said. I guess I'm just unlucky in love. Hey. 
Sweet Sabrette there at the Ukulele Cabaret. And that was a fun cabaret. Oh, yeah. I mean, they all are. <laughs> Never know who's going to show up. There's actually a cabaret coming up on Saturday for those of you who are in town. Uh, can't reveal too much about it except that there's a documentary maker from the Canadian CBC who wants to find out about what this ukulele thing is going on in New York. They're, they show. they're a little behind up in Canada, I guess. Oh, they're just getting the news now. <laughs> got to report it all, eh? Now, before uh, those clips at the cabaret, uh, we had uh, you live here in the studio performing a song en français. En What's français. that about, uh, mademoiselle? Well, it's a lullaby. Um, and I wrote it because I need to have at least one song in French. 
and um, and as you know, I usually do songs of doomed romance. And when I tried to write one in French, I thought it would be really easy to write a, a doomed romance song, and it, it ended up being a lullaby. So I think I think it brings out my softer side or something. Is this I first? Kind of. Sweet yeah. Brett's getting soft I and know. a little bit sweet, th th so rather than doomed. Yeah, I don't I don't really understand what happened there, but it was a, it's a lullaby to Little Mouse. Now, why do you need a song in French? Well, it's funny you should ask that, Jason Tag. <laughs> Um, I've been invited to play in the Paris Uke Fest oh, at the end oh, of May, and so I'm going to Paris. Paris ukulele. That's the, probably the two most beautiful wor words in the world, and I know, you're doing them. Wow. It's like cake, eat it too. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about this. Um, well, it's going to be my second Uke Fest this season because I'm playing in the New York Uke Fest um, on the 6th of April with, with the new band lineup. Um, and then the Paris Uke Fest, it's going to have Michael Wagner, another friend of ours from the New York Uke scene, is going as well. Um, and a childhood friend of mine who plays the violin and has been on Peace Corps for the last three years is going to meet me in Paris and play with me. And hopefully we sound good together. <laughs> You'll have all of a few hours to get that together, right? Yeah, well, I'm, I'm trying to book a little tour around it. Um, and it looks like the second week, the week after the Uke Fest, is going to be the south of France. And the week before, I'm trying to hook something up in Brussels. Um, and maybe cologne. So wow, we'll spreading see. the ukulele love. Ukulele by the sounds love. Of it. Well, it's you know, spreading your ukulele inspiration really. <laughs> it's it's growing and it's growing. And the Paris Uke Fest is something that uh, sounds just delightful. But what are the dates of the Paris Uke uh, Fest? It's May thirtieth and thirty first, and you can go to parisukefest.com to check out the details. A fantastic. Uh, Victoria lineup. Vox is going to be, and it's got a kind of a good American representation, and right. then a bunch of awesome French uke players. Yeah. Do you know who's organizing that in France? Um, yeah, it's uh, The K, Lionel The K. Um, he's on MySpace. He's, he's on my top friends, so you can, you can find it that way. <laughs> hey, can I trouble you to play one more song for us? Oh, I suppose. <laughs> Since we have you here, <laughs> this is Sweet Sabret. You're here on Midnight Ukulele Disco.
more information about Sweet Soubrette, you can visit sweetsoubrette.com on the internet for all sorts of information about upcoming shows and all sorts of goodies like that. Hey, thanks for coming on the show. Hey, thanks for having me. We'll have to uh, right. hear more from you when you get back from Paris, I think. Well, maybe maybe we'll have a big band show after Paris. Mm -hmm. I'm for that. Ooh, that would be fun, right? Catch you again in a week's time. Bye. Bye. He was so mysterious when he was still here He'd act so very serious, but was he sincere? He was charming and disarming, he'd say things we wouldn't dare Draw a line, he'd cross it cause he simply